Hello, my name is Rachel and this is my endo story. So my endo story began when I was 13 years old. I had had my period for 10 months and it had been normal. Then suddenly out of nowhere, my period got extremely heavy. It was lasting for 10 days on and then only four days off. And I started to get extreme pain with my period. So after a little while of this, we decided to go to my family doctor who actually immediately suspected endometriosis and referred me to a gynecologist. She also put me on birth control pills. Um, in the meantime, pretty much right after that happened, my doctor had to move away. And so when, by the time I got to the gynecologist, um, my doctor was gone. The gynecologist kind of berated me for being there, told me to just keep taking the birth control pill and that was it for the rest of my life and nobody really explained to me what endometriosis was or why it was even a big deal and that was basically the last time I heard a doctor tell me that I had or they suspected I had endo. Um, from there I just continued taking my birth control for years and years and it worked to keep my life fairly livable until about my mid-20s I suddenly started experiencing a bunch of new symptoms that I had no idea were related. I was extremely tired all the time. I had leg pain, I had back pain, my period pain was getting worse and I didn't know what it was. I was moving around a lot in those days and I went to doctors in multiple Canadian provinces as well as in the UK and you know nobody was able to help me once tests came back and didn't show that anything was wrong with me I was told that I was a hypochondriac I was told I was probably depressed and in denial about it and that's what was causing my fatigue so after years of this I happened to find the endo group on reddit and from there, I was led to multiple Facebook groups, including the Endometriosis Network Canada. I learned about endo and I made an appointment with a specialist. And after a few months of waiting to get in, I had an appointment with them. The appointment was not what I expected. I expected excision surgery to be kind of offered to me. It was not. We definitely butted heads and disagreed on treatment options, but... I did walk away having signed papers for excision surgery. So after that, I waited a few months and finally got my excision surgery in December of this year and was finally, after 15 years of seeking medical help, diagnosed with endo.